Okay, guys, we're back. We're going to do days three and four in this video. Uh, so we're starting back at the, at the main category. Again, we got to find the mountain. So we can go look and see what the days are for us to do. Mountains over here. So we just turn out to the right and towards grid runners. And then you can go right over here instead of going up the, the climbing up the mountain itself. This takes us up and let's go take a look and see what we need to have i still need to get more coins but looks like it's on day four now too so three is here it's it's the duck and splash and then four is the grid runner or not the grid runner i think well it's a statue it's a zombie with golden eyes so i think that's one of the statues so we'll just click at him to make sure let's see what it said here again Paintings each on the wings. Uh, there's previous and a disco ball and a person. Okay. So I think we're going to need to buy a disco ball. So to do that, the probably best thing to do is just go back out. And the shop is right underneath this build here. So we can jump out. Come over here to the toy shop. and check and see what he's got there he's got the uh, disco ball for 60 coins so we'll buy it don't click on it <laughs> uh, let's get that one out of our inventory get it done so let's go to grid runners we're going to do them out of order a little bit say yes okay and we need to go to the right here once you get into the main lobby of grid runners and then we'll just go down here to the right. We want to go down this hallway corridor. And you start seeing the statues. Like here's one here. I thought they were slimes, but I guess they're supposed to be statues. And then we see some more here. And that's locked over there, so we need to go up this way. Let's go upstairs. And over here to the left, here's another set of statues. And there's the one with the starry eyes right there. So we just got to go in here like this. And we done the Cape, Cape Vessel. All right. So if we look at our checklist, that should give us three or four. Three out of seven, I mean. So now let's go back to the main lobby. And we'll make this a quick video. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. This next one was a little parkour, so it might take me a little long, but I'll, I'll fast forward through it to show you what you need to do. Okay, so once we come back out to the main, we're going to look for the big splash of water. I think that's over here to the left. Yep, there's the duck with the crown on it. Then we got to swim down here, hit the pressure plate, and, and then we need to get in the hole. So you got to do it kind of fast, like I, I kind of messed it right there pressure plate and then down in the hole. Third time's a charm. Why is my not wanting to go there? That's crazy. There we go, straight down. Okay, so once we get down in here, we're gonna start to parkour. Again, I'm not very good at parkour, so. And uh, this is can be kind of laggy too, so keep that in mind. That wasn't too bad right there, actually. So well, he's being smart too, just like me. <laughs> Taking it easy. Uh, if you're a good parkour, you can probably get by the, through this pretty fast, but. Always gotta get like a double jump, double uh, start and then do it. There we go. Wow, I passed him, that's kind of crazy. And then we're going to do the bookshelf parkour. Whoops. Back around. Whoa. Almost had it. You guys can cheer me on. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Here we go. All right. I think this is the end right here. Yep, we completed the cave puzzle. Nice. So that should get us all four. Uh, today's, uh, and then I'll probably, I might not do Friday or the fifth one. I might wait to this, to the next two are out. So, unless I got some other video content I want to make for you guys. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you have a great day and hope this video helped you out. Bye.